WGI News Center 10, live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10, live at 5, is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for a as we check the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, a Cleveland man is shot. And also, the School of a Music faculty has an upcoming gala. Hottest trends in social media. And we'll give you an update on the latest Berg sports. Touch that remote. New Center 10, Live at 5, we'll be right back. Oh, it wasn't there. <laughs> Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5 for Thursday, September 25th, 2014. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. Let's get to our first story of the night. When 31-year-old Zach Brown set up a quick online donation account to raise a few dollars to help him make potato salad, he certainly didn't expect it to be throwing a festival of Woodstock proportions. But this Potato Stock 2014 will kick off after Brown managed to raise almost $56,000. The proceeds that result from the festival will aid Columbus area charities whose targets are hunger and homelessness. Potato Stock 2014 is for all ages and will feature music, food trucks, and naturally potato sack races. Today marks the second school day in a row where the teachers are on strike and the students are protesting in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Teachers and students alike are on strike because of Reynoldsburg City Schools' strict rules. Currently, students are spending the entire school day, including their lunch periods, in the same classroom with only scheduled restroom breaks allowed. Teachers have been struggling to accommodate cramped class sizes and at the same time are worried they will lose their jobs due to very high turnover rates. Though the superintendent has commented very little, Reynoldsburg schools have released a statement that attendance will still be taken and students who have now taken to wearing orange t-shirts clad with prison-like identification numbers should continue to come to school. Cleveland police responded to a call on the 2900 block of Woodhill Road around 2 a.m. Wednesday where they found a man had been shot. The medical examiner has been able to identify the man as 20-year-old Garrett Jr., who was pronounced dead at the scene. No arrests have been made and police did not release any suspect information. Anybody with any information whatsoever is asked to call 216-623-5462. Could the helmets that help high school football teams across the country use, are using be not as protective as they should be? A recent study by Virginia Tech and Wake Forest has led Cleveland's very own WKYC to investigate local high school football helmets. All Ohio high school football players must wear helmets that are deemed adequate by the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment. The investigation is still ongoing, but public opinion on football-related head injuries is gearing towards much better research and better helmets. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. Hi, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Brianna. And you're watching WHEI TV 10. Have fun! Woo! Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. In the heart of Heidelberg's campus lies the Fireside Cafe and Pub, featuring a relaxing and engaging space welcome to the public. Fireside's menu includes sandwiches, salads, wraps, desserts, and even a soothing latte or coffee, offering a wide selection of exciting new and wholesome food options. Fireside Cafe Pub also serves a variety of refreshing drinks to accompany its cozy atmosphere. Come experience Fireside's new fall menu and visit us on Instagram for services.
just lying here Don't you see me? Pick me up Pick me up If I'm lying here Welcome back to News Center 10, live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. Heidelberg University School of Music and Theater faculty will be performing a faculty gala coming soon. Every year, faculty members of the Heidelberg University School of Music choose a Sunday afternoon in early October to present a recital with a variety of different types of music. This year, the Heidelberg Faculty Gala is going to be on Sunday, October 5th in Old Concert Hall in Brenneman Music Hall. You get to hear um, from anywhere from piano, um, duet, to uh, vocal um, pieces, to even original work by Dr. McConnell. Um, many pieces that I have chosen for that faculty gala are special to me and um, if you come to the concert you will know why, so I hope to see you there. Following Berg Bravo, the Heidelberg Faculty Gala, the alumni of Heidelberg Music and Theater will provide a reception with cookies and punch. Come and support the Heidelberg Music faculty for an afternoon of music and fun. Heidelberg's H Association is for Heidelberg alumni who competed at the varsity level in athletics while attending Heidelberg University. There are more than 1,700 members and many honorary members who have helped out in big ways with athletic programs here at the Berg. The H Association also hosts the Back to the Berg golf outing that is held every summer. Students are able to get involved by helping out with the golf outing as well as a number of different activities that is hosted by the H Association. It's a large part of the sports program and continues to grow and help the sports program here at Heidelberg and is set to keep doing so for many years. What, what the H Association does is it, is it helps support the student athletes by providing uh, additional funding for, uh, for championship rings or for travel or for new uniforms, um, anything. It's, it's kind of a, it's money that the athletics here uh, can use to just support the student athletes. To another country can be a life-changing experience. And last year, 55 Heidelberg students took advantage of a variety of opportunities. Some spent a semester or a year studying in another country, while others traveled for a few weeks on a professor-led trip. Studying abroad is one of the best ways to see the world, experience other cultures, and break out of your comfort zone. These students got the opportunity to travel to 15 different countries, including many parts of Europe and some parts of Asia. Any student interested in studying abroad should contact Julie Arnold, the Director of International Affairs and Studies, at jarnold3 at heidelberg.edu. So, have you ever thought about studying abroad? Um, I have actually. Yeah. I'm hopeful to go to London this summer for a short summer abroad program. Okay. Um, I haven't planned it all out yet. I actually need to contact Julie Arnold myself and hopefully we can get something because I'm really excited and I really hope I get to do it. No, that's cool. And I actually, I was honestly thinking about studying abroad in London as well. So maybe we'll see each other over there. <laughs> that's all we have for Burke's Campus News today. We'll get into the latest news and stories from the social media world next. New Center 10, live at 5. We'll be right back. I'm Tori Hasenlaub. And I'm Morgan Brandt. And, and you're, you're watching WHEI-TV -E 10. <laughs> Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. It's here. Fireside Cafe Pub's very own Heidelberger is making a scene. This juicy, succulent sandwich is waiting for you on Thursday nights at the Fireside Cafe Pub in honor of the Mike Hallett Show. Purchase a Heidelberger on Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. to receive fries and drink for free. Oh, yeah, a combo meal for free. All you have is the Heidelberger at the Fireside Cafe Pub on Thursday between 6 and 9 p.m. Come on down to the Fireside Cafe and Pub and get your Heidelberger now, because Coach Hallett said so. The National Parkinson Foundation invites you are you ready to move? Walk, cheer, yay! Dance, stretch, <laughs> laugh, and shout. 
whatever it takes to beat Parkinson's. Let's defeat Parkinson's. Remember, people who move change the world. It's a new day for Parkinson's. Make your move today. This is the ocean, and this is Kipper. Kipper doesn't live in the ocean, but if she did, this is likely what would happen. This is Sparky, and this is habitat destruction. Boozer doesn't like it, neither does Fluffy. We wouldn't let this happen to Kipper, Sparky, Boozer, or Fluffy. In the oceans, it's worse. Lacking opposable thumbs, Kipper can't take action, but you can. Visit BeringSeaCanyons.org. Hello and welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending in the world of social media. In May, it pay to be a doctor, both in Karma and in the bank, but it certainly doesn't pay to be a doctor at Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital. As season 11 of Gray's Anatomy premieres tonight at 8 p.m., looking back at all the awful tragedies that happened in that hospital will make viewers see how and why the plot will continue. For 10 seasons, Grey's Anatomy fans have watched Meredith, Derek, Christina, and Alex, and the rotating staff suffer more tragedies than even the patients they treat. Tonight, fans will again tune in to the dramatic dynamic that has given Grey's Anatomy its long run. Will the plastics make a return to the silver screen? Mean Girls celebrated its 10th anniversary in April, and now Lindsay Lohan is championing a sequel. Lowen has suggested a sequel where the girls are all housewives and they're all cheating. She stated that she will have to harass writer and actress Tina Fey until she writes a sequel. That's all we have in the world of social spotlight, so let's send it back over to Elizabeth and Stacy at the news desk. Thanks, Christine. So have you ever, you've been a big Grey's Anatomy fan or... You um, have yeah. to have seen Mean Girls before. Oh, yeah, everyone I guess everyone, yeah. Literally everyone has seen Mean Girls just about. Yeah, I actually used to watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't anymore. Um, but, you know, it's not for lack of entertainment. It's very entertaining. And so was their spinoff show, Private Practice. So it's yeah. a good, what I about yourself? I followed it to about season six or seven. Yeah. And then I just got super busy, and I couldn't catch back up on it. But I might have to get back on Netflix, see what's on Netflix, and then catch yeah. myself up with this new season. Yeah, that's a good way. Do it at your leisure. Yeah. So that's good. It's time to throw it over to Dan to take a look at today's top sports stories. Coming off a double overtime defeat to Earlham, the Heidelberg women's soccer team flipped the script the second time around. A late goal in the, by Mount St. Joseph forced the game into overtime as well as heading late into the second overtime period, still tied. The match looked to be heading towards a tie, but senior Rachel, Gil Rachel Gilbert did not allow that to happen as she found the back of the net for the game-winning goal with less than a minute to play, giving the student princes a 2-1 victory. The first period was a defensive battle with both teams trading shots, but neither team was able to beat the opposing keeper. The second half was a different story, as the Berg got off to a quick start when sophomore Andrea Civic found the back of the net to give the Berg a 1-0 advantage. The Berg will look to ride this momentum as they host Hiram College on Saturday, September 27th at 1 p.m. The Heidelberg University Student Princes prepared to take on Ohio Northern Polar Bears this coming Saturday, September 27th at 2 p.m. The Student Princes and the Bears will battle it out in the Bendekovic Bowl the, ben the Bendo Bowl, as it is better known, is an annual tradition in schools according to the Heidelberg University Media Guide. The Bendo Bowl honors Ro uh, Ronnie and Jason Bendekovic, who are previous assistant coaches for both ONU and the Berg. According to the athletic training student, Alex Norris, the student princes have been preparing for a strong showing this coming Saturday. The football players have been working really hard at practice every day. They're trying to get off that lose from, loss from John Carroll, and they are predicted to win. Hopefully they'll do their best, come out with a big win, and we'll see them again next week doing well. Last season, Heidelberg won the Bendekovic ben Bowl against, the Ohio Northern, against Ohio Northern 52-27. Heidelberg is currently 1-1, one one, while ONU 
has won both of the previous games this season. That's all we have for today in the world of sports. Let's send it back over to the desk with Stacy and Elizabeth. Thanks, Dan. So, I know the game is, you know, a home game this week, so are you thinking that you're, well, obviously you're going to make it, you're on the cheer <laughs> squad, um, but how do you think they're going to do? You know, I really hope that they'll do really well. I know they've been practicing really hard. They've got a lot of momentum. They really want to come back and show everyone that last week might not have been a great week, but you True. know what? We have a great team. Exactly. So. And I know they were, you know, pretty disappointed about their loss, but I mean, that you know, it's no big deal. We know what they can do, as, you know, just as yep. much as they do. So. And have a great rest of the season, hopefully. For sure. I have every confidence in the team. So, soccer team as well. So. Yeah. yeah. When we return, will a Latin American author ever let it go? Hi, I'm Enya Granados, and you're watching WHEI on TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Small businesses, I believe, help weave people and communities together. I believe in the American dream. SCORE is a nonprofit organization where we provide free business consulting services to people who want to start a business already in business. I believe one person can make a difference. I am that person. I am that person. I am a SCORE mentor. I am a SCORE volunteer. What do you believe? Do you have a gift to share? Our client success is, is our success. Volunteer your expertise at SCORE.org. As a first-time Olympian, it was a true honor for me to represent Team USA in London. I'm also proud to represent another great team, the Multiple Sclerosis Association of America, who sponsors Swim for MS, a national fundraiser where you can create your own swim challenge. Anything from swimming laps for pledges to jumping cannonballs for cash. If you love swimming like I do, register today at swimforms.org. Hi, I'm Lourdes Stefan, host of Univision's Sal y Pimienta. Cancer doesn't just change the way you feel, it changes the way you look. From losing your hair, even your eyebrows, to changes in your skin and nails, cancer treatment can rob you of your confidence and self-esteem. But look good, feel better changes all that. More than 800,000 women have learned how to address the appearance side effects of cancer treatment through our workshops. Visit lookgoodfeelbetter.org to find a free workshop near you. Let Look Good Feel Better help you feel like you again. Welcome back to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Let's get to our last story of the night. A woman named Isabella Takanumi is claiming that Frozen is based on her life story and has officially filed a suit against Disney for $250 million. Disney claims that the popular animated flicks plot came from Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Snow Queen, not Isabella. Isabella says that the story came from her 2010 autobiography about growing up in the Andean Mountains of Peru. She is alleging that Disney plagiarized and manipulated the story, characters, and plots and turned it into Frozen, which happens to be the grossing animated film ever at $1.2 billion. That is one heavy suit for Frozen, that, honestly. And you know, I always thought it was the Hans Christian Andersen story because I had seen something on the internet one time. If you look at all several of the names of the characters, Prince Hans, okay. Hans, Kristoff is similar to Christian, gotcha. and then Anna Anderson. I honestly it kind didn't of, think of it that way. So okay. I, I saw that on the internet one time. I don't know what side I got it from, probably social media, Pinterest or Twitter or something. So for sure. I definitely don't take credit for that, but I always just thought it was from him. Gotcha. Thanks for watching WHEI News Center 10 live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Thanks for tuning in to today's Live at 5. Be sure to catch again th Tuesday. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. And for Christine, Dan, and all the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching.